Okay, it's Saturday night, probably about 6.30. We got high thin clouds, the sky is still bright. It's actually the best time to get the planets, by the way, in the twilight. Right now I'm settling in, I'm gonna center Jupiter up. You're seeing the exposure at about 500 of a second. I'll show you the settings in a second. We are operating at 150X with Barlow removed. What I'm going to do is center Grand Planet up in the middle of the field. There we have it. And I'm going to play with um, the brightness setting a little bit to see if we can improve the contrast. Maybe we'll improve, play with the contrast too. That is, like I said, a very decent view of Jupiter. Probably what I would consider a six inch view through a refractor. I am blown away. We're getting about one arc, arc seconds resolution. If I run the brightness. Oh crap, I played with something I shouldn't have played with. Okay, let it fat disappear. Kind of hard to reach over. Jupiter will be disappearing. We'll start losing resolution soon due to a roof try. Okay. Now what I want to play with is brightness. Oh no. That's silly. Oh, I wish I wouldn't do that. Oh, I changed it. This is what happened to me before. Um, you start pushing buttons on the display with, with at an awkward angle and you get very unsatisfactory results. Okay, I want the brightness to go up. Of course, I'm also messing with... Okay, you know we're losing resolution with that brightness going up. Spread it down. Down to zero. Um, I'm going to play with the focus a little bit now. What I want to do now is play with the contrast a little bit. So if you press once, twice. I've shuttled the contrast down to zero. Probably not the best direction, but I am now going to increase the contrast. Contrast. Up. Let's run it up to about 30. Probably not the value we want, but I might leave it on 30 for this evening if the clouds don't start rolling in and I start doing 150x views of galaxies that may help. Let's play with focus once again. Get a nice sharp limb. I'm using the fine focusing knob. We seem to have lost some of the image quality we had earlier. As the sky gets darker, we tend to lose it. Let's settle for that right now. Here we're having a second run at Jupiter. I have done and whatever I can. I've got up to 50% contrast, about 20% brightness. We are using the e-zoom function as well as remo having removed the Barlow. The one thing I'm not doing is removing the filter, the Lumicon Deep Sky filter. So let's hope that the results we're seeing here 
I am seeing variation in the bands of the North and East and South Equatorial Belt. What I'd love to be able to see is there's a very thin belt right along the equator, plus see some variation in the temperate belts to the North and the South, as well as variations in the polar region of Jupiter. That would be excellent to see. I am going to go ahead now and bail on the imaging and hope that what we see on the screen is better than what I can see by eye on the TFT monitor based on whatever the Handycam is able to resolve. Carpe Noctum.